Hi, I'm Bishop Greg Davis, and welcome tonight. Did you think that we were going to stop at the barbershop? Absolutely not. Not the word network. We are fair and balanced, and there's no fake news here. We're going into where? The beauty shop tonight. We're going to talk to almost a dozen beautiful African-American queens at their place that they go to to talk about us, to talk about dating, and we're going to talk about all that tonight. Did you not know that the uh, hair salon, the beauty shop, started back in uh, the second century? That's right, the second century. But it wasn't for African Americans. It wasn't until they began to colonize the United States and they brought the slaves over in the 1700s. And at that time, all they had to begin to develop, uh, they called our hair uh, wool. Our hair looked like wool. And there was, of course, the good hair, but we had the wool hair. It wasn't until the 1800s that they brought out the press and curl in the early 1800s. But then a woman called Madam C.J. Walker came along and she de developed hair products to put on the women's hair so that it would be straighter and it would be some good hair. And then it was later on that uh, they began to develop more and more products and cosmetology school. You would go to Madam C.J. Walker's various hair salons and you would see on the door, this is an official registered Madam C.J. Walker salon. The women paid $17 to go to cosmetology school. Can you imagine that? $17 back in the day. And then in the 1900s, the hair salon developed more and more. And now we have, in 2018, the hair salon. They go get sew-ins. They go get wigs. That's, you know, back then they had wigs also. They get their wigs. Wigs are back. They get their, pre their sew-ons and they get their, their, their weaves and all that. The quick weaves, as they call them, too. Well, we're going into Hashon tonight in Southfield, Michigan, right down the street from the Word Network. And I'm going to be talking to over uh, a dozen women that's going to share with me, why y'all single? Why, what, what I need to do as a man, a single man? Stay tuned, man, because you're going to hear a lot of stuff. Get your notepad if you're single or even if you're married. Find out what women really want as we go into the beauty shop. Join me tonight. She knows my life, Pastor Dana does too. Um, I I remarried and I married somebody that had two children. Uh, had been married 17 years. Mm -hmm. She had been married 17 years. Uh, let me see how much I want to tell you. Yeah, be careful. Walk light. 17 Walk years. Walk light. Yeah, 17 years. And the father, the one father uh, that by these two children. <laughs> Be, I, you know, be easy. I don't even know if I want you to do yeah, this. No, I, got, I'm, I don't want this edited, neither, Mike. Um, he was the issue. He was the issue. He would not sit down and meet with the kids and say, she's getting remarried. He didn't want to. You know, I can't go to the rest of the but he didn't. And um, that was the problem. That still had a stronghold on, on her and the kids. They were from another state. Can't say the state. They're from another state. Google. And got here and just decided up and she just wanted to go back and because was used to the life. Mm -hmm. This is my first time sharing this nationally. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that she was used to because you got to, your all testimonies is not being needed. Right. You got to right. be healed over yeah. yourself. So I was abandoned as a man. Yes, he was. That. They didn't know that for real. Mm -hmm. For real. He, no, didn't do, not like, he didn't do anything. She was part of the whole, yeah. And I was abandoned and I had to reconcile with that as a man. Because, you know, you got that man thing, your pride. Yeah, yeah it's a lot rough yeah. on y'all. I know. <laughs> yeah, you know, y'all, we can cheat and we expect y'all to forgive us. Y'all cheat on us, we, yeah. but that's not, that's not something. Exactly. But, but she, she left. She left, and so I'm doing a do-over, and, and I'm thinking I'm going to be married, you know, my whole rest of my life, and now I find myself back single, not because of any fault of mine. And they know. I got witnesses in the house. 
Um, and so in that, when you talk about, it's on both sides, y'all. That's why. That's why you gotta be, you gotta be healed. So I'm dealing with a baby daddy. Mm -hmm. who, who, mm -hmm. I'm dealing with a baby daddy. Mm -hmm. Okay, who who just about I had to. He every time he called her, she go to shake it, talking about the kid. She said, "I'm like, what the, what the heck? I had to pull the phone one day. This is my wife now. You had your turn. You didn't want her." And I went. So I went through that as a man. Mm -hmm. So I can only imagine. Mm -hmm. This is where I'm going with it. what women would go through mm -hmm. with baby mamas knocking at the door. Mm -hmm. And it gets Leaving worse because kids of kids and you ain't never had kids and you like, what's these? Well, and a lot of times they still I'm sorry. A lot of times the man tends to leave the woman in majority of the situations and when the new woman steps in, the baby mama's jealous of the woman and just creates complete All chaos kind of and that's havoc that's just, just because <coughs> she wants that position. And it's like, I, th this too much. You know, oh, yeah. interestingly practice. enough, blended family. But just I haven't, it's all, for me, it's all in preference and where you're at in your life and what you're willing to deal with mm -hmm. and accept. Luckily, I've never had to deal with that. I preferably, I don't want someone who have younger kids with several mothers. You have kids? Mm -hmm. I do, I have one son. Okay. He's 14. Oh, I'm amazing. already yeah. at the exit door. So <laughs> preferably for me, I don't choose to have that. But if someone were to come in my life, who knows? Mm -hmm. But, you know, that's not on my immediate list to cross off immediately. Mm -hmm. It just depends. I, I just think it's important, especially as women, all of us, to understand that blended family issues are huge issues. Mm -hmm. And that 1,400 blended families are created daily. So it's, it's more likely that you're going to walk into a place where somebody already has children than you walk into a place where they don't. And so being able to communicate and ask questions when you're dating about those situations. Like I've been married twice. My first husband is my son's father. And my second husband, when he asked to marry me, I said, so you want to marry me? And he said, yeah. And I said, well, let's go to the table and have table talk. And he says, you're not just going to say yes? No, I wasn't. Um, all excited about the ring and all of that stuff like mm -hmm. people do. Mm -hmm. I says, I have a son mm -hmm. by another man. He's eight years old right now. How do, I had some questions I needed mm -hmm. to ask and we needed to right, get please. some clarification mm -hmm. and understand it before I ever went down that street. That's because right. I knew I was still going to have to have a relationship at some level with his dad. Yeah. Welcome back to uh, Beauty Shop Talk and we are Heshons in Southfield, Michigan, the Word Network. Of course, you all knew that we were going to absolutely hear from the women. And this is not it, y'all. We're going to a boutique, and we're going to talk fashion and ask folks, why do they dress like that in church? That's coming also. Word Network <laughs> is doing some very innovative things. We're the largest African-American uh, Christian network in the world, 200 countries, 90 million homes. Thank you for your love gifts that make this possible without us having to come on and say, you just have some money there. No, thank you. It's because of you. We're at Hair Shunt and Southfield. We want to thank uh, again. Rodney Howe for uh, hosting us and the staff here uh, in Southfield, Michigan. Information will be on the screen, even information about these lovely women that are taking part in this beauty shop talk. Very candid, hope nobody get offended. Lola George is my co-host and uh, did a great job, first part. Now, let, let's go to something, and even on here, let's go to one of her subjects. Let's do it. Sex. Yes, please. He just said, hey. what a hustle. Oh, sex. <laughs> Go out there. Sex. Um, when you talk about Christian women, um, you know, when, when, when do, in dating, when do the S word come, come up? When do you talk about sex? When do, you, when do you talk about the needs of one another? Because, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, this is uh, When did you talk about it and say, I like this and you like that? You like this, and I don't, I'm not going to do that because sex can be a deal breaker. You're celibate. Somebody said they're celibate on the show. That that's fine, but it should still be talked about. And then when does it come in where you say, you know, I, hey, I I don't care what we, I I don't care. What, I'm find out because I don't want to be surprised on on the first night. So it's a it's a sticky thing if you're a Christian. Uh, 
let's open that up for a few minutes. I think we need to be realistic and, and really walk in truth right now because sex is such a taboo. This is in Lola the, George saying that. Yes. Like this, this, <laughs> this is, sex is, is taboo in the black church, but it's a very natural act. It's a desire. It's not a bad word. It's, huh? it's not a bad word. It's not a bad no. word. But I think oftentimes we confuse relationships with having sex. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when you're younger, you, 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 you bounce around like rabbits because you're just exercising, let's say. But I think the more mature you become, it becomes more than exercise. You understand the spiritual aspect that goes along with the intertwining of those two souls. So I don't think it's something that you should just freely give of yourself. This is not offering and you have something that you want to donate to the church. Absolutely not. You need to hold on to it because everybody don't deserve access to you. I had a conversation over the weekend. Somebody asked them, do you tongue kiss? Do you do this? And do you do that? Everybody don't deserve to have access to your mouth. Everybody don't have access or should have access to your womb. That's where you create life. Everybody shouldn't be a part of that. So when you find someone, take time to figure out if their spirit is right. Because for every person you lay with, a piece of that, whatever it is, lay with you too. And when they leave, that energy and that spirit is still laying there in your body. It's still there. And it's almost an exorcism that needs to happen to get him up off of you. How many sleepless nights have you had thinking about him and he ain't even thought about you? Because you allowed the wrong soul to lay up in your bed. So I think it's healthy. Yes, please. But we're going to take our time. We this uh, this. Mm -mm. Well, when is the right <clears throat> well, this is the thing is that it's important to know that intimacy mm -hmm. does not necessarily mean have to mean sex. Fact. Intimacy right. really means into to me. me. See. See? Mm -hmm. So when I'm able to begin to open myself up and become vulnerable, mm -hmm. and then once I get that connection with that person, then we need to have the discussion. So. It's an individual thing. I can't say that, oh, I've been dating him six months, so now it's the magical right. moment. Right. I might have been dating you for a month, and now, because of the connection, yes. now we need to have the conversation mm -hmm. because I've known people that have known people 90 days and gotten married. Mm -hmm. I mean, right. yeah. This is what I really want to get to because there are people that are watching, and I know we have an intimate conversation, but I really want to get to that point, too. People, you do, as a Christian, even though Christian, Absolutely. say the chastity belt on, uh -huh. for those that know that. You gotta have that conversation, and most people think because it's so sad that you don't have that conversation. Okay, so let me say this: in the church, the church, y'all, people get mad at me for saying this, but the church done jacked us up. Yes, mm -hmm. They done jacked us up because for some reason they teach us that you can't talk about it. The people, so then once you do get married, you don't know what you're doing. Mm -hmm. You at don't all. know what you expect. I have clients. I'm a clinical therapist by trade. I have clients who come to me who have never had an orgasm. Yes, I said the word. Yes. Say it again. <laughs> orgasm. Yes, please. Actually, there's 10 types of orgasms if you want to know, but I'm just One? It's not 9, 10. This is the word. <laughs> this is not 10. For those of you that are watching, 9, 10 is, 9, 10 is our talk show radio station owned by the Word Network. She comes on there every night. So y'all want to listen to her every night. Tune in tonight, 1 a.m. 1 a.m. to 3 a.m. Every night. Every night. I'm on hours later, and it still be residue, Ru a residue. at 5 a.m. in the morning when I'm <laughs> I'm like, what's that spirit I'm feeling? <laughs> Why? Well, come. But it's important for us to have the conversation because what the problem is is that when you don't talk about it, when you don't know about it, then when you get in the room, you don't know what to do. And then oftentimes, people have done stuff with other people. They try to bring it into the room, and you, I don't do that. I don't want to do that. I don't know nothing about that. So you got to have the conversation because the other piece to that is if you are a person that there are certain things that you have to have, and then you get with this person and marry them, and they're not going to do what you have to have, that is unfair. Yes. Is, it, is, that, is that a deal breaker? That's yes. a deal breaker, yes. 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 I yes. have some pre-, pre that, that is that a deal breaker. Before you get married. That's a deal breaker. That's yes. a deal breaker, yes. yes. Yeah. There because, are certain things. That'll be a no. Because for, for a man, that they're going to find, if they, that's what they want to do, Right. They're going to find gonna somewhere it. else that's going to do but it. But let me say this, and let me be clear. Women, too. Women do the same exact Women, too. <laughs> Women do the same. I have clients that I see that are couples, and it used to be a time that it was always the man who had stepped out. But the majority of my clients is the woman. 
That's just the truth. And they do it anyway. And never get caught. <laughs> right. You yeah, never know. They, yeah, because a, a, a man, men think by impulse. Just right. Mm-hmm. We think exactly. it by the second. Women yeah. plot. We, yeah, Women, we got a plan. You've calculated it. You've <laughs> thought yes, it out. Yeah. Yes. You know the pattern. <laughs> yes. All that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's, yes. That's a fact. It is that's a fact. It. That is a fact. So, so the conversation so yes, happens when that friendship is developing. Yes. Yeah. And then there's that comfort that's built. Yeah. yeah. But the issue is a lot of times you'll have that conversation and your partner will say, oh, I don't do this, I don't do that. But those are things that I want to do. Right. And there's situations where you'll find it elsewhere outside of the home. So, so what, that's a good thing. What happens, go, no, go, ahead. No, no, go ahead, go ahead. What happens when the man don't do what the woman likes. Mm. That's Thank a bad thing. I, I was told you. Now, we don't, we don't, right. Mike, y'all, we don't, we don't never think about that. We always right. think about right. the side it's a deal breaker. Of the man. It's a deal breaker. It's a deal breaker. It's a deal breaker. So y'all have cheated before? It's no. a deal breaker. <laughs> That's a deal breaker. <laughs> and then I will say this. Since, <laughs> since we are. Right. Wait a minute, say what now? It probably hasn't even got, got to, to that point. Because point. we've had the conversation. Right. And, and when you say no. Both people are being honest. Hopefully we can, you know, talk about that and understand each other before it moves forward to any of that. Because I think we always think it's the, the woman yeah. that don't want to do what the right. man no. wants to do. No. And, I, and I've heard, even on radio, I've heard women say, he's just so boring. Yeah. yeah, but is that communicated though? It, is yeah. it communicated? Well, this, you know what? I did an event not long ago when it was all men, and I asked men the question: If your woman did not like the way you kiss, just the way you kiss, would you want her to tell you? Every last man on that panel never answered the question. Really? They kept saying stuff like, "Oh, I ain't got that kind of problem." I, uh, you ain't yeah, had you the do. problem because she ain't told She's you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, she don't want to. She don't want to. You're like inadequate. You. We she don't, don't, well, that, this is my thing. But I, I tell him. My yeah. thing is you got it because you, you got to get your ego out the way if you yes. want to make sure that yes. pleasure yes. is up in the room. Yeah. Yes. So I need to be able to tell you, I need you to kiss me this way. If you kiss yes. me, like, I, I don't want to feel like you licked my whole face. I, don't, <laughs> I need you to do this. I need you to put it there. Right. Do that. Yes. And, and don't do this. That's, that's and, okay. Even yeah. in the bedroom. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. You find yourself Give teaching. Because the other thing that what men do, or well, what people do, I won't say just men, you will do what you did with your last person. And that was, the last person was swinging from the chandelier. And you do that to the new person, and, not so much. Let's, let's go to here. Because if a person tells you <laughs> that they don't like that, mm-hmm. and then you still marry them, and you think that once you get with them. It's not going to change. And they say, well, you know, I'll try. If they say they don't, you better believe them. Believe yeah. them. Because you're going to be, I'm saying, any, Absolutely. I'm saying yep. any part of a marriage, if somebody, red flags, yes. if they exactly. say they don't, yes. you Believe cannot, it. especially somebody been single for six, three years, you cannot <laughs> change that. Because yeah, you cannot expect. Except me for I'm just messing with you. You can't expect if your sexual appetite is four days out the week, but there's a seven, it's not going to work. You're not compatible. It's, it's just not going to happen. I'm just saying, yeah, there's Whatever no the way. Days, days, Whatever the days, it is, the days need to be near each other. Absolutely, right. because right. again, a man and y'all saying a woman now. See, it's I told you, it's teach a them. woman. It's a they woman too. It too. Because Absolutely. there are men. There are men who I, I dated a guy, and he did for seven years. He didn't kiss me. Asked to marry me twice, and both times I said no because I couldn't imagine my life not kissing ever again. I don't know. Mm. And the kissing. I, that's why I broke up. How do you? It's everything. It sure is. Okay. It's, it's your knees. It is. It's it really it's like <laughs> a kiss. A kiss will unlock your knees if it's hey, right. Listen, hey, listen, right. y'all. Hey, look. It was something else going on with him. What? Seven years? Seven. That's wow. great. Was a great provider. Great with my son. Great trap. We traveled all over the place. Did you all have good sex? <laughs> <laughs> Let's 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 switch gears. <laughs> Let, let's 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 go ahead and then we go to spirituality. Um, when I was when I was married for twenty years to Pastor Kim Davis, because I can talk about this and say name. We we are we talk about it all over the country. She knows I talk about it and she talks about it because we need to help other people. I was married twenty years. We grew apart. Bam, we built everything else but us. 
So in, in that, I was a young pastor starting off, go-getter though, had my own little company, but she was making more money than me. She was a manager at the telephone company back then, making back in the day, 20 something years ago, six seven thousand dollars a lot for a woman making. You know, yes. you know. So she said, here's what I want you to do. You were there. You, yeah, you were mm -hmm. there. She said, you go ahead and worry about the church. I got us. You know, I got us. You, you do that. Well, 20 something years later, she's pastoring two of my churches and I had her. She's she good. So how many of you that are single would be willing to do that if you know that a man has potential? If he has a plan, not potential. I fell in love with potential. She done came alive. Mm -hmm. She said, whoo! That's the difference. <laughs> Pass them potatoes, Miss Silly. I'm back. <laughs> I'm back home. <laughs> yeah. Oftentimes, as people, we do that. We fall in love with the potential, potential. of a person. Mm -hmm. And That's someone can have potential for the rest of their life. And, and if you don't have a plan, there's nothing. You have and to working to towards the plan. So, but you know what? That's, that, that's Faith good. Faith without works is Oh, yeah, yeah. I think I'm going to post that. Yeah, I'm going to give you credit. Got to have plan, not just, you can have yep. potential. Yep. But if you don't have a plan. You got to be a doer, too. And, and working, and if on, you're the not working and on the plan. Working on right. the plan. Yeah. Got to be working yeah. on the plan. Yeah. The Bible says that the, the, basically the woman and the man, they found each other in their works. Mm -hmm. And that's like. Come on, Evangelist. Like, I'm just, but it's just like, <laughs> this is just like what we've known, you know, this is what. If all of us, you know, grew up in church and, you know, heard this over and over again. But that's honestly like people have to basically had to unlearn that, and, mm -hmm. you know, because because we are we're all at this point in our lives are, are unlearning what we have learned because mm -hmm. everything is a taught basis. You know, mm -hmm. we were taught to we're condition, right? We're, it's, condition. Everything is a condition thing. And you, you, the whole thing I've been listening to a lot of these like tapes on just relationships and all these other things lately. And that's one of the things that basically has been hit on the nail in the coffin. It's basically you can't go into a relationship, you know, just potentially trying to get things done. And, no, 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 no. You have to be actively doing the things that, or working towards whatever it is, the goal that you have. Because that's got to be in motion. Oh, yeah. I'm so you think potential. potential at 50, though? No, no, no. That's just what I was getting no. at. It's not potential at 50. No. I'm, I'm just asking no, a question. But see, but a man, a man, now, I've no, had this conversation, no, and I'm going to pass it to Dana. I've had, I've had this conversation with somebody I can't name, but they're very, very well known. A couple of my brothers that's very well known, and they're single, and they're like, they feel the same way, though. They're not going to marry somebody that's not even got the emotion going, and they, they, they establish nice churches, Recording art, they they like. I gotta have somebody that matches this. So exactly. men men feel the same way. Capacity, nothing. And, and, and I mean, not. Capacity. Yeah, you gotta know where you at. If you had a starter kit, you want to start a kit. You want to fix up. There's different programs. Yeah, it there's is. Starter kit. Tell tell them, Bishop. There's a starter kit. Uh huh. Yeah, there's a starter kit. There is a fixer upper. Uh huh. Hey, fix up. And then there's a home that's already made. Yeah, I need the home. So made. you got You have to know. That's why I say it's important. That's the thing you were about to say. I married potential with no real plan. We married young. And the plan, it never came to pass for real, for real. And so I'm over, I'm over that. I'm over, uh, I'm over potential. What's the plan? I can help you make it happen. You enhance me, I enhance you. We are partners. We work together to get it done. And if we're not going to be able to work together to make this happen, then we will not be. You no. remember, you remember I dated, you, you, you all too remember I dated somebody with potential, right? All the potential in the world. Which one? No. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> two, two ago, two ago. I think two it was two ago. Two ago, yeah, two ago. Two ago, two ago. Yeah, okay. right. yeah. One, one, we had great. Don't go too far. I ain't gonna go too far. But okay. it had a lot of potential. <clears throat> oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, you with me? Mm -hmm. Y'all walk with mm -hmm. me? Had the, uh, and I'm like, what's the plan? What, because. You know, I'm creative. I can design stuff. I can create what you need, what we need to do. I get your business cards. I, I got your. Get I can. But I think sometimes y'all go too far. Yes. 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 I think That's you go what too I've far. been told. I've been told. See, in, my, in, my, in, my, in my life, I don't, I don't need that. I'm at a different We're point. We're not talking I, about I, you. No, I know, but I'm saying, but we got men watching. So you got to know what you need. I had that. I had that. He's with, talking about enablers. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, no, I'm saying with, with Pastor Kim, she, she was like the backbone. She, she, yeah. she helped run yeah, things and yeah. all that. But now I ain't what I want. Mm. Now I ain't what I want. I want somebody that got their own thing, but I want somebody that 
I want them to juggle. I want them to care about me too now. Yeah. But I, they got to juggle. That's but ideal. As wi- the no, women, that's, ideal. that's what I want to be. I want to be his backbone. Right. And, and this is what we're saying we want to do. But, but, but when we when we when we get the guy with potential. And we earlier yeah, we see, started you go to run and things no, no, no. Man, they, you, you, But we started this shit. I know you. Yeah, I got to take it. Like, oh, I, I got you. Don't worry about it. Sit down. Yes. Yes. Like, yes. You can't do I that. I want to get it done for him. But no, you know what? Oh, I ain't doing, doing all that. that. No, you, no you're, you, you're trying to get it done for him. <laughs> right. You're to help them get it done. Right. They already okay. got to be in motion, motion. like yeah, like, like Diamond said. That's what happened. You go too far. Well, I know. Look, my friends. Well, no, but my friends tell me, because my friends are in the room that I am just a natural giver. Yes. Yeah. And yes. that I give too yes. soon. They, they, that they have, what do you say, Carla? You always tell me I haven't let them earn mm-hmm. the mm-hmm. right okay. for my help. Okay. That's, that's mm-hmm. me. Yes. That's me. Okay. They got to earn you, the right. I Wait, they ain't been you around long enough. I just automatically. Yeah. Oh, what do you, you want to yep. dance? Yep. Okay, let me go. Yep. I, you, you the next day is done. It's a corporation. It's a corporation. to me. But then, let me tell you what men do too. Once they see that, they be like, right. they get lazy. They get, Whether they like they, it or they not, get lazy. Yeah. They gonna take that. They are. Exactly. Yes. And that's true. Yes. And Which they is get why lazy. I don't say nothing unless he say something. I stayed with, <laughs> I hear you. Yeah. I stayed with somebody for three three years, four years, and when I met them, they were just servicing four companies. When I left, they were servicing eleven. And he told me, he said, I asked the Lord to send me somebody, and I was thinking to myself, well, I hope it's not me. I got right in and started doing. And left all my stuff behind. Then I got sick and fainted, and he just left me. Stepped over you. Stepped over you. Kept it moving. He used her. Mm-hmm. Right. So I, now I'm not doing that. If you have she's, your stuff, I, I'm, I'm not doing that. I'm she's not saying, blind. I don't know nothing. She said she don't even want nobody to like her because she's smart. <laughs> <laughs> she said, I want somebody to like me because I got big legs and a big butt. This like me because, <laughs> don't like me because I know how to do some stuff. Because if we're together, like everybody said, you you have somebody, you know, they have potential or they have mm-hmm. something that you want to have. Mm-mm. I don't think you should, I know, but I don't I think know, you should I've let been that change. Her. We went to church together. She's know. very, she's very, she, this girl got her business. She's very smart, and she would do that to you. But she, I don't think she should let. I don't think that one situation should change who you are as a person, because that individual didn't deserve right. what you were trying exactly. to give them. But, but I understand that. <laughs> but there, but, but, there, but there's there's somebody that. But you, you can't may do it add too value. Soon. Yeah, she don't do have to do it too soon, soon but I don't think she do should change soon. who she is. I tell you my brother that all the time. Just because somebody don't appreciate who you are. Don't change who you are. You that person that didn't deserve yeah, what you had to offer. Like they used to. Like they should. Says, oh God. Time, don't give your power away, baby. Just yeah. Don't take your power time. and keep it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So yeah. I'm yeah. No, I think it's. Stuff. I'm doing enough. I'm not I doing think it's okay to point. assist. Hold on, yeah. Hold on. Yeah. I'm sorry, sister. Yeah. Go ahead. No, go, go. I think it's okay to assist, but we have to let men be men. Yes. That's good. We cannot do it for them. We cannot raise them. Okay, so fix everything. We have to allow them to be who they are and what they are here to be. Okay, so now let's just be real. A whole lot of men don't show up as men. Mm-hmm. They do right not they show up. Men. They show up looking for even they got a dating true. site called SugarMama.com. Okay, well, you no, know, we we get ready to have a, we get ready to have a discussion here because a lot of it has to do too with that. A lot of women they start off saying, "Can you pay my bill? Can you pay my yes, to do this?" Yes. No, let me finish. Let me finish. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you. They start off with this, the other never side of it. I've no, but I'm saying it's Ever. out. You Ever. Might, but you may not. But they're out they here. Are, they they are. immediately, yes. will you buy me this? Will you buy me that? People really do. Right. I people do. Never. Do that. Okay, y'all listen to me now? Yes. I'm the man. I'm yes. telling you. They, they, oh, yeah, she yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, 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 and I get hot about it. That's not and see, but my, they do. My, ex, my ex-wife will tell you she wanted for nothing. To this day, she called me about who she dated. Not talking about uh, this guy right here. Compared, you know, she do compare because she wanted for nothing, literally. But now I've kind of scared, th- these it. two have kind of made and others have made me scale down because I'm just he a has, giver. He's a natural giver. and he does too much. I'm right. a giver and, too. And so, yeah, too I, much. Yeah, I mean, we could just be talking, you know. But I, too I, much. So I, I pull back. Yeah, so they're not even back. worth it. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, but I gotta pull. I, but see, I feel like I'm the female version of that. Yeah, but talk to some of these women that immediately need some money and they want to pay their, their bills. No, that's well, inappropriate. I, that's inappropriate. Yeah, that's that's crazy. Crazy. Stop all that. That's, that's inappropriate. That's, inappropriate. that's crazy. What setting are they meeting these men? That's a different type of woman. Because there's got to be some type of setting. 
Honey, they, the grocery we're store. Well, I'm, 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 I'm No, it's not just, you know, men talking at, at, at the workout places, and you hear them talking, you know? Mm -hmm. And so, and I've come, I've encountered it immediately. Mm -hmm. You know, you can you pay? No. Huh? What were you doing before him? Right. Somebody asked. That's I, a good, that's good. So, Did you hear what she just said? What was he doing before? What the, were the they same doing story? before? That's what. They were doing the same thing. Else, somebody and somebody and else. Of it. Another man. Doing that's a yeah, characteristic. That's what they were doing. That's what well, I'm saying. That's a characteristic. Well, sometimes. And I know women. Yeah, I know you know women like I'm talking about? Yes. Okay, y'all like yeah, yeah. making me sound like y'all didn't know them. No, I know. <laughs> They're not here. Y'all looking at me strange. I know people like that, yeah. Yeah, but it, um, it's, it's the way it's presented. Like, that he might say, well, I got this, I got that, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. It don't that. matter what he has. And, right. You know, I'm saying, I, mean, I don't this care. This is what he's <laughs> conveying to her, so that no. type of woman is going to say that. But I'll, I'll, let me also, I'm sorry, type. let me also say this. Yeah. So I'm looking at several independent women with the, in YouTube, but you're married. I've been told by the boy babies, the, these are my male friends, that they feel, remember, they, they, you've, you've been a part of this conversation, Carla, where they want women to need and want them and ask them yeah, for stuff. Yeah. Because yeah. the fact that we don't, it, you yeah. two independent, you, you act yeah. like you don't need a man. How old are they? 50s. Yeah. 50s. <laughs> yep. Yeah, it's like my need, Lola. It's like my need for you validates your manhood. Right? Why? Why? Yeah. No. Yeah. I like when we started off. They want that, but they really don't. No, no. I like when we started. Listen, listen. I like what started off in the first part, and and it was it you that said it. You can get it yourself. I like that. That that turns me on more. You can get it yourself, cause then I'll do more. Yeah, that's you. You are one. But, but, but see, you rare. Yeah, you're one. Because most men, yeah. when you do it yourself, they feel Call like. Call in right now, those are the rest of us. They don't ask. They get intimidated. They get intimidated. They say, like, I, 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 I'm told all the time, you're too busy. You're too this. You're always gone. You're so no this. Life. And I, I'm like, well, I got Success. businesses. Right. Success. Not only that, you I've, I've had all men all ask me, well, what, what could I do for you? Because you seem like you got it all together. No, they say stuff like, well, the only thing I could possibly give is some good sex. Mm -hmm. And they oh. really think that. Oh, hey, okay. y'all answer me this. Call the garden. Y'all answer me this. You got your lives. This is a real question for me. You got your lives. Maria, sit up. You got your lives. And you, you may have a, some of you have children, I know. One child here, there. And you're busy, like Sabrina just said. So here comes a man. Mm -hmm. okay. And he does require... A fourth of that, because okay. where I'm at right now, I want a woman that's giving me. I used to didn't want this. She said I didn't used to didn't want this. I could care less. Don't call me. Now I want attention. That's where I'm at. Okay. They got to give me a little attention. Okay. But then you say you want this person, but then they come, then you can't find. You gotta. They, it's gotta you be. Have to learn how to prioritize. And you'll make time for whatever it is you want to do. That's we what I say. You make time for everything. So you're you saying, you wanna you're saying if a person right. don't, wait a minute, hold on. That's that. So you're saying if a person don't make time, that means that they're really not interested. They're not right. interested right. because right. you will no, make time. No, don't you shake your head back there. You don't want to be on the on the panel. You're not. She gonna shake her head. Back. You, <laughs> you That's absolutely will make time. Yeah. You, you should do. You as busy as I am, I'm, I'm making time for him. Yeah. He's inching. I like he will make time. For sure. Well, That's the bottom. I'm saying with women. Bottom line. So when y'all, so when y'all say when y'all when y'all don't. Or is not consistent. That simply means you you're not come. interested. Yeah, right. that's exactly absolutely. Yeah. I will what say you're that. An option but and not what a are they saying they are? They, but they're they not lying. Short. They lying. They your actions speak. Your actions speak louder than words. Your actions speak louder, yeah. Yeah. Your actions going, I, I, louder I, I, than words. My dad I have said, men say to me, "Okay, oh you're so busy. You're so busy." Or this is the favorite thing. You don't have time for me. Yeah, if you look at my schedule today, I don't, like I don't like have that. time for you because you just walked into my life. But now that you walked into my life, I will make, make time. How soon? Immediately. If I like you, yes. If I like okay. you, yes. Okay. 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 You, even if I'm, like, if I leave here tonight and I got some time between when I leave here and when I start my show, <laughs> let's do it. Say so, Dr. Sabrina. No, yes. no sleep. It don't matter. You, you don't. I'm telling you, when it's fresh and good, you don't need no sleep. You don't need no sleep. When I'm into you, you say, wait, you want to see me? Hold on. Hey, girl. Can I'm I canceling. Like your appointment. Yes. <laughs> 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 can I get my nails done later? You know what? Let me tell you something. 
me go ahead and change some stuff. You sure? You would be with the girls, but y'all, I gotta go. I got to go. But this is the other thing. I feel like this. As long and I and I say this, and maybe I'm wrong for saying this, but I believe in consistency and follow through. Yes. yes. If at any moment yes. I don't feel special, mm -hmm. then oh, I don't God, act yes. special. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Say that again, Mark. If I don't feel special, right. uh -huh. I don't act special. That's but right. when I feel special, mm -hmm. like I, I'm not, I'm not one that likes to cook. I don't. My friends know I don't like to cook, but I make sure my man eats. Okay. That's right. Mm -hmm. Another question, and we're going to spirituality. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> at what point do you okay if you're single and you have other people that you're talking to everybody probably got somebody that they're just blowing time they ain't going to maybe not me okay <laughs> accepted to the world yes, you know, i'm right. saying just conversation you know or whatever <laughs> at what point do you say okay this person now becomes priority this, this is we're not committed yet but i'm going to put this seems like this is, uh, they have a plan. I ain't, I'm going to use potential. Oh, come on now. <laughs> it seems like they have a plan and potential. Mm -hmm. Even after a few dates, I think I just kind of want to put my energy in because it's looking good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when do you get rid of the stragglers? I think chemistry. That's kinda, chemistry. Chem yeah. Chemistry does that. Uh, creates I, I, priority. Right. So you just get rid of the stragglers. Wait, yeah. you, sometime it happens immediately, sometime it happens yeah, exactly. It depends yeah. on the chemistry. It, it depends on the chemistry. So you would say in the, in the beginning, it if it's chemistry hit, you're like, oh, I'm, hey, yeah. Yeah. If, yeah. If, it's, block, if it's a, block, block, if it's a good spark, <laughs> This spark, then I don't have time. How many y'all say Delete, that? delete, delete. delete. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. I don't know I if I would do it that fast. You're talking about in the beginning, block, block, block. Some of them say it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 For me, because I, I want to see what they're growing if he to. Gave, if he gave me that spark, yeah. Mm -hmm. A one man. woman, one man, woman. woman. Okay. If I like you, if we've got chemistry, you're it. I want to get to know you. Yeah. I don't want to get to know him, yeah. him, 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 him. Uh uh. I'm tunnel vision. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think that's tempting. If I really care about you. That's right. I'm dating. Yeah. Well, I guess you could consider. You're consider gathering dating. data. I, there is a gentleman that I really like. Right he now. Got a uh -oh. lot of, and that's saying a whole hell of a lot. Right now. Okay. And he <laughs> has got she a dating. plan Jeez. and he's got potential. Okay. okay, but he doesn't feel that he's in the place that he needs to be financially in order to take on a relationship. And I'm like, uh, huh? oh, yeah, men do that thing. though. Okay, but and I and I understand. I understand his feelings. I understand. I, I understand why he feels that way. Okay, but don't block. Your blessings. Yeah, because okay. you his blessings. Because I'm a blessing. I have, and like I told you, I, God put me on your path. We met blessing. each other four years ago, okay? By chance at one of Rodney's fashion shows. Okay. He had a boo, okay? Uh -huh. mm. It was instant chemistry between the two of us. You beautiful. He took my phone number. And lost it. What? Okay. What? It wasn't time. Book, his home. It wasn't book. time yet. Okay. It wasn't time yet. That's exactly right. I ran. I walked into. It was Rodney's birthday. I walked into a club. Okay. Go to the club. I don't even go out. Okay? That's what happened? She at the club. Out, I go to the club. Okay. I only went to this club because it was Rodney's birthday. Yesterday. I walked into set September the twenty seventh. Mm. Okay. That's Thursday. Weird. I walked Thursday. into the club. And the first person I saw it's like nobody was, was this man <laughs> sitting at this chair. I mean, it was like, it was straight on him. The light. Okay, it was like whoosh. I mean, it was it was strong. It was intense. But I'm cool. Okay. I make my way over to the bar, and something just kept pulling at me. At me. That okay. energy. So I said, I'm going to get up because I ain't never been afraid to make the first move. Come on, okay? mother. And I'm going to get up and I'm going to go and ask him, where do I know you from? Because his spirit and his energy was just way too familiar. I feel it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and come to find out, I had met him four years ago at the fashion show. Was meant to be, meant to be. Okay. Have y'all been out? Yes, we have. The first time we went out, we went to lunch. Okay. That's the one I offered. I offered. <laughs> I offered to pay to split the bill. 
Mr. Deville. Because he, he said, said, oh, no. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. He would not have that. Okay. Good. The second time we went out to lunch, I asked him uh -huh. to go to lunch. And I explained to him that it was my tree and that his money was no good. Amen. Okay. 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 So down. he allowed he, he, down he, he, he allowed me <laughs> to pay for the second meal. The third time I wanted to get to know him more on a personal level. And in my home, I feel comfortable. I, I, After I, the I'm third day, he can come to the house. So he came into the house, <laughs> and we sat and we watched the movie and yeah. we talked. Okay. Oh, this is And that's mom. when I got to find mm -hmm. find out that even though he really liked me, we had the same kind kind of chemistry and energy. He was not. He didn't feel he was in a place where financially. He saw your house. Yeah, that's what I was just about to say. Yeah. He, he saw your like, oh, man, I got to get a third job. Mm -hmm. Did you but care about that? that? Did you care about, I mean, did you care about, so what happened? Well, what happened was I just kind of backed off and let him, I let him leave. That's why you don't okay. let him come to your house this soon. I let, I let him leave, okay? But, but it's mm. not like I have a phenomenal It don't matter. House. You got more than okay. what he had. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. You let him leave? I let I let him leave. I, I now I when we talk, it's you, because it's he'll call. say good morning. And that's one thing he's really good about. He'll mm -hmm. he'll text me in the morning and say good morning, D, and I'll say good morning, Kevin. That might be the only conversation we have in a day. Okay, yeah, but he says good morning and he says good night. Okay, so it's like the potential is there. He well, I can I can feel, I know if he was in a different place. Financially. But have you said that? Well, See, here's what. Let me say this to y'all. You should tell y'all. him that. Let me say this to y'all. What 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 I find out it what I find is that we talk at each other Ooh, and that. not to one another. Yeah. And you got to do more than let him leave. You have to say to him that I don't I don't care about that. I'm in. You know. You didn't let me oh, okay. Go ahead. Oh, oh. Okay. Mm. More to the story. You didn't let her finish. I have said that to him. I have your back, okay? When you want me, I've got your back. If nothing else, if we never become anything else to each other, we can, will always be friends, okay? If you ever get to that position where you feel like, I'm not in a hurry, okay? I don't run the street, okay? I'm not desperate for a man. No. I take care of myself. Okay, so Clearly. when you're ready, if, if it ever gets there, okay. Okay, let, let, let's switch gears again because we, we, we're coming down to, to the wire. Um, spirituality. How important is it that the person is, is a Christian, spiritual, have some sense of spirituality in your life? Are you willing to take the chance and get him spiritual later? Or, uh, or is that a deal breaker that they don't go to church, don't love God, can't pray, can't cover you, uh, priest, provider, protector, spiritual priest, they can provide, they can protect you. Mm -hmm. How important? Important. Extremely. 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 Raise your hand if it's important. Okay. Deal breaker? Okay. Okay, who want to pass that? You stop. Sure. You pass, yeah. Sure. Yeah. Well, the deal break for them, they got to go. To, they got to come somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> they, 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 come they just need no. to be able. They have to be able to cover me, and and I'm not saying that in a large scope of things or whatever. That you know, all deep and wonderful, and speaking in tongues and all that stuff. I'm saying, well, I I have a busy life. Be able to cover that. Be able to cover me in ministry. Be able to cover the things that I'm doing. Be able to make sure I'm good. Let me be, feel safe. I need to feel safe. And if I don't feel safe, then this is not a good. This is not going to be a good relationship. Because your ministry is prayer, so do you need them to? Since you're the prayer person, do you need them still to be able to pray for you? Yeah, absolutely, I need prayer. Yes, please be able to pray for me. Do you have to be as intense as I am? Do they no. have to be a preacher? Please don't. <laughs> <laughs> right. No <Nope>, taking. <laughs> right. Yeah. Please don't. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. I'm okay. I, yeah, I've yeah. been there. Yeah. I, my new please. policy is one preacher per family. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes, I, I'm Amen. good. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> You know, I'm seriously, I mean, you know, once once you've done that, and because then you, 
it become we, too we much. Take, we had offices oh. next to each other at home, and we could take care of them. Now, and now, no. I just want you to at least know God. I don't want you please to know God. I don't want you to go to hell in my house, but yeah. you ain't got to know all. You can yeah. know. I can take it for yeah. yeah. What about you? I I want him to love his self and love God. I, it's okay if he doesn't go to church. I'm, I'm kind of okay with that. You don't care if he goes to church. But I want him to love God. I want him to have some So it's not about the church experience. Right, right. It's about God. Right. Gotcha. That's good. I don't want him. Active. I know you called, but I'm at you. Yeah, I, I don't want him. Uh, it's active, and and because I've I've dated, I've done the church yeah. man, and yeah, yeah, it's 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 it's, it's too much. <laughs> I want him to love God. I want him to come and go with me when I ask him to. Uh, he has so to. You just want him to come out of class when you want. No, no, no. <laughs> I, I want him to have because my relation. I like. Come on, I need joke. you to come to this anniversary. Pass that preaching. Y'all know I laugh and joke, but I don't play when it comes to God, right? And my, 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 my personal relationship is deep, and it's real. And so I need someone to understand when I tell him, baby, I see, and he understand what I'm telling him when I tell him I see. When I tell him, don't go left, go right, because I've seen what, you know, I, I, so I need someone to understand. And that's that. just the intuition. Let me just yeah. say this. That's the intuition. Yes. Every man needs to listen to this. That's the yes. intuition that women have. Yes. And I believe, and I'm not trying to get super deep in spiritual, but when the Bible says he that find the wife, find the good thing, and here's the here's the part we That's it. Back. This is it right this here. This is the best part. Right here. No matter how successful I am right now, I am still missing some favor. Yeah. From yes. not having the other person. That's yeah. right. That's they right. They obtain yes. favor from that, Lord. Mm. And they right. are they are the other eyes. Yeah. That's right. Yes. If let me tell you, if a woman tell you, you better watch that one. You better, you better watch, watch you better it. Watch you, better. you better watch. You be if she tell, if she yes. tell you that 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 hen got snuff behind his right ear, yes. or yes. Yes. You, you got tobacco, yes. right? It's, That's it's old there. Stuff. It's, it's, it's there. there. So I need somebody to understand that aspect. So their relationship has to be deep enough to know what it means to be able to see. Um, but we're gonna live a balanced life. I, I, we I don't want to be so sold out for Jesus that you know I can't go to the left and can't go to the right. Y'all didn't put me in hell. Y'all didn't send me. It. No, no, no. I, I I don't need all of that. So yeah. I just, I need you to love God. And when I say come on, let's go into the house and worship. I need you to be right there with me. Let me go tell um, 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 Diamond. What what do you? Uh oh. <laughs> no. It's okay. What do you? For you. You know, is that a requirement? It used to be a big requirement, but I kind of eased up lately because a There's lot of people. Well, the church. <laughs> hey. Because I really feel like, um, like you stated earlier, the church has definitely scared a lot of people. With me, you don't have to go to church because I used to tell a guy like when I date him, you have to come to church every Sunday with me and on Bible study every Tuesday. That's too much for a man. That's too much for a lot of people that is not into church. Mm -hmm. So, um, with me, I don't want to be trying to get my life right <laughs> and trying to be a saint and I'm laying next to a sinner. I'm getting up on Sundays and you just like, yeah, all right, babe, I see you. Bed. Yeah, you can't do We're that. We're not equally old. <clears throat> I can't get anywhere with you spiritually. When I'm spiritually down, I want someone that's going to lay, be with me that can really build me up. Because I, I may have my moments in life where I'm actually down. I need someone that's really going to build me up. Here's what I find. When you do what, what, what she just said, you, you, you make a man go, he's going to go. Just he's going to give you what you want. Satisfaction. Right. What he want. He's going to give you what you want until you give him what exactly. you want. And then if you go commitment and he feel like he has you, and he's like, I don't feel like going to the end of the swimming season. He's going to get comfortable. He's going to come when I can go. So you're doing it, doing it for real. Uh, Marie? Well, I have a six-year-old son. And, you know, as growing up in my household, in my family, God was pretty much like the center of attention in my household. And, you know, I saw my mom praying all the time. And thus I saw my dad praying, but the more important thing is just for me in a man and as it, as it pertains to what is going on currently in my life that I have a six-year-old son, it is important for me and that potential other, not having potential, quote unquote, but um, potential other. Plan. Right, plan. that plan, yeah, that plan, yes. 
is for him to, my son, to see an example of a woman and a man that are together, that pray together, and, and that seek the Lord together, that, you know, hunger and thirst after righteousness, and do that in, as it pertains, like, in a balanced way, you know what I'm saying? Not as, like, you know, just, like, as so, because in, in church, we have high extremes of a lot of things, and we have no, like, we have no wiggle room sometimes to breathe, and sometimes it's kind of like, the, to be at my age, you know, at, I'm 28 years old, I'm starting to realize, like, okay, yeah, like, I really want that as a part of my life, and I want that equal partner of mine to know that God is as much as important as you think that you are in my life, too. You know what I'm saying? So it kind of just goes, but it's just like the example that you want to show forth for your children. And honestly, that is the reason why a lot of people are kind of in this, you know, in relationship because we want to be an example for our children. You know what I'm saying? We don't, we're not just doing it for ourselves because we just, it's because of a lot of times of our children, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, like I, it's very really important for spirituality and God in a relationship in the household, in your family. I don't even care if you're, if you're dating, if it's your friendships. It, it doesn't matter what kind of relationship you're in. You have to understand because that kind of allows you to move the way you do. So at what point do you ask the person, do you know God? I mean, when do, you, do you get to that conversation? <clears throat> It kind of just comes up. Yeah, yeah, yeah it, it come just comes up. Like spontaneous action. conversation happens. Yeah, because you know? I always say God is good. Always. I'm, I'm always. And all the time. And I get on my knees. You know and, you know, and you know what these guys say? Like show is, baby. Uh-huh. What, what, you you I talk to me. I'd be like, I don't know. It's sad. I do. Do you go to church? I don't know. Do you know God? Which one? Do you have a relationship? Do you have a relationship? Do you have a relationship? I said, do you have a relationship? Do you know God? I don't have a relationship. They said, okay. Let me tell you something. I have a friend. Who's a comedian? If I say his name, some of y'all would know. He like <laughs> Bishop. I tell them whatever they want to hear. <laughs> he said, if they want me to love God, I said I love Him. <laughs> if they say, are you a virgin? I'm a virgin. <laughs> if they say you want to have sex, I sure say that. When so he's like, his point is, he said whatever. Yeah. God, it's convenient. What is convenient? Mm -hmm. They'll well, say. Yeah. I That's remember a problem. I, when I was dating, right. my, but you don't know it in the beginning. My, the evidence is in their life. In their life, yes. my first Good. husband, fruit. first husband, um, my mother got ill, and I was dating him and another guy. And so the first guy, we went on a date, and I told him what had happened with my mother, and he was like, oh, baby, I'm so sorry to hear that. The second night, I had a date with the other one, and he grabbed my hands and said, we're going to pray for your mother right now. When he did that, uh, I stopped seeing the other guy. Yeah. It was all about, oh, my God, he prayed with me. Oh, my God, he prayed with me. And then I found out later that really he was just doing that because he knew I was a church girl. Mm -hmm. That's See, people send representatives. Right. Yeah. Right. Then my first you night, fall in love with representatives. They're like, oh, that really wasn't me. Yeah. Fell in love with him and had a baby. Okay. You say grace, you fall in right. love. He's right. a praying right. man. And when you say you're saying spirituality and you're saying God, and some people God is not our God. That's mm -hmm. right. they, they might worship their car or material things mm -hmm. or money because it says God and God we trust. And, <laughs> and we got to know what God they it's are right. So last two questions and we're done. Um, thank you all for, for all your, your feedback. Uh, when making your list for what you're looking for, for a husband, you're out of this one. Mm -hmm. Or you can come in. You might tell. You might can give us some advice. Because her list clearly works. Uh, <laughs> what are the top five things that are a must, or do you have them? I have them. Let's start. Let's start here. Spirituality, man of God, foundation of it. Um, financially stable. I would prefer. She didn't have to get notes out. She don't oh, she know her? Oh, definitely. We have to be attracted to one another. I don't want to have to learn to like you in that aspect as, as far as the physicality. Um, and you have to be in shape. There you okay. go. All five of those? You, if, if, if That's one just a, a, a sprinkle start, and then we can get to know each other. Okay. Um, I like to talk. I need you to be a communicator. I don't want to have to figure out what you're saying. You have to be spiritual. Um, and we do have to be attracted to each other. <clears throat> you have to have a plan. Please have a plan and not potential. I, I appreciate that. So See, you much. got him with that tonight. So much. So much. <laughs> Thank you.
Um, and, and I just think being being stable, just some sense of stability in your mind and where yeah. you're headed and what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Spirituality. I want to feel safe. That's it. I want you to say what you mean, mean what you say. And it's really just them four, really, for me. I really need you to say what you mean and mean what you say and have your stuff together. Just, just have something together. <laughs> I'm going to say you, Phil. Okay. I didn't Where's, have a list. You didn't I, have a list. I didn't have a list. I asked God to give me what he knew I deserved. Mm. Ooh. What he knew I deserved, what she said. and I and right relationship was important for me, and I was gonna be all the things that I wanted to be: financially stable, strong relationship with God, were taking care of myself, all those things, and I asked God to give me no less than what I deserved. Let me before we go to the next, we go. I don't want to go after that. That's right. Let me let me let me let me say this. I have a quote that I did, and I think this might be one of my one of the first one right right one come things that I did. Would the right one come? Um, that you have to become the right one. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yes. In order to right. attract the right one. Right. Right. Yeah. That's right. Thanks. So when you're making your five, and are you are you already that? Yep. Yes. Yes. You all have yes. matched those things already. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Not working on it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I'm always working on it. Yeah, but I'm saying yes. Yeah. <laughs> but yes, foundation's late. Foundation's late. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because sometimes we ask for more. Then we, we ask for more than what we are. Yes. And that's so, inappropriate. And a lot of times you gotta ask, would you date you? Right. Yeah. Yeah. But this is the thing. But this is the thing. Ooh, that's dangerous. This I'm is the thing. You. I yeah. think, but if you have yeah. a list and you asking for him to match that list, then you're not getting a compliment. Mm -hmm. You have to live in compliment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's always light and dark, yin and yang. Mm -hmm. You can't be right. and I think that again, women as women, we have to level set our expectations because what God has for us might not be that list that you've mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we miss the mark. And, and I, I say this with passion because- Look, the Bible says to give you the desires of your heart too. Indeed, indeed. But sometimes the heart ain't got nothing to do with six figures in the bank account, whatever these lists are. Sometimes there's a disconnect. And I just think that women need to be realistic about that and don't miss what God sends. Yeah, sometimes our desires are not what that, we need. That, yeah. that, 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 I, I threw that out there just because people say that. They do. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. so that's really that's really your will. Because yeah. you have to have a heart of God. When you say that, he'll give you desires of your heart. He will. He sure will. Make but then there's the perfect will. That's what you're talking about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. His permissive yeah. will is when he gives us what we want. And he said, now nah, that ain't really what you're supposed to have. But well, I'm going to go on because, you know. We're going to give it to you. Just, there's consequences. Yeah. Go ahead. Um, can I follow that? Right. Uh, I would like to uh, be involved with somebody mentally, financially, emotionally, and um, spiritually growing together. That's what I would like to do. So that means I got some growing to do, too. You have some growing to do? Yes. And I want to grow together. Okay. Now, come on. Come on. <laughs> Um, I had a list and I threw it out. I threw my list out because everything that I wanted in a man, I wasn't even in a woman. So I was asking for a husband, but I wasn't even a perfect wife. So I was looking for something that I could.